As we explore the black history that makes up American history, we're shining a light on ballerina Virginia Johnson. After this season, she's stepping down as artistic director from the Dance Theater of Harlem, where she started dancing more than five decades ago. Oh my gosh, Amazing. so much talent. CBS 2's Jesse Mitchell shows us the impact this woman has had and the legacy the dancer will leave behind. <laughs> In 1969, Arthur Mitchell, who broke barriers as the first black principal at New York City Ballet, created a company for dancers of all colors. Virginia Johnson was among the first to join Dance Theater of Harlem, having faced her own challenges breaking into the industry. I didn't want to be given a chance to do this because I was black, but because I really could do it best. The team toured around the world. Many watching had never experienced this kind of cast. It's really exceptional because I remember the first time I saw Dance Theater of Harlem and my life was changed forever because just seeing black and brown bodies on stage in such a graceful element is so beautiful. But in 2004, the tour took a financially forced hiatus, keeping audiences from the awe-inspiring performances until 2013, when Mitchell enlisted the help of Johnson once again, handing over the helm of artistic director. It helps if you can see the encouragement of someone like you in front of you, but you don't need that. What you need is the engine inside of you being strongest, being able to say, I don't see anybody like that, but I know that I belong there, and going for it. After 12 years of revived success, Johnson finally feels ready to retire. Her successor, Robert Garland, plans to connect to today's dancers through his choreography expertise, creating well-rounded artists capable of leading the field in every aspect of the industry. The pandemic taught a lot of dancers that they can do more than just go into a studio and move their bodies around. And to have leaders at the front of the room that had these super successful careers and know that it was possible in a time when it was really not, the odds were really stacked against them is amazing. It's serving because it's giving other people the idea of what's possible. What's next for Virginia Johnson? Uh, aside from a good long sleep, <laughs> I'm looking forward to, to going back to being a creative artist myself. For now, she'll take a final bow. In Harlem, Jesse Mitchell, CBS2 News. The final performances under Virginia Johnson's leadership, along with the Vision Gala honoring her, happened between April 19th mm. and the 23rd. I think she's earned that good night's sleep after 50 years. Yeah. Incredible. Uh, wow. Such grace and just such, um, I don't know, what great reputation, what she has done, what how she has in impacted every dream, uh, you know? Extraordinary. And to do that time and again for all those decades, <sighs> absolutely amazing.